James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once, something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. Well, it's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Should we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Ugh, oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. And how do you know him? Sweetie. There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewellery. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's why he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well... There was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. So that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6? Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play 007 Bloodstone Part 4. Does it get any more Bondian than this? Well... Apart from maybe the car there, that, that's not really Bondian at all. But this mission, it's probably my favorite mission in the game. We're wearing the signature tuxedo, we're walking around in Monte Carlo, Monaco, a very Bondian location I like to think, and we have to infiltrate a casino. This is a really cool mission. Lots of stealth involved and lots of stuff to do. It's very golden eye to be around in this area. Also, the game did a magnificent job in displaying its view. I mean, just take a look at this. This is Monaco top notch in game form. You would think with the firework it's the Grand Prix weekend going on from Formula One. Reminds me of that time that Daniel Craig visited Formula One and was standing with Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. I'm surprised it's still so anyway, on to the mission. You would find five pieces of intel here and here's number one, the naked chick statue. You want to scan Jesus, that with your smartphone. Alright James, I'm in. Pomerov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the gardens now. Turn on your tracker. I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomerov busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomerov. So this mission introduced us to Nicole Hunter, our main Bond girl, who's over there talking to Pomerov. And we need to make our way over there and steal some of his documents. Nicole is probably the only memorable character in this game because the rest is completely forgettable, but I like her. 
Anyway, we need to make our way over to Palmerov, so let's get on with it and get into this joint. So had this Nicole chick been based in the times of today, she would probably be your average Instagram influencer, it girl type. Alright, let's take care of this guard first. And in the opening cutscene you saw Nicole say, I feel much safer when a man drives. Which was something you could still say in times when things weren't hypersensitive. Which I like. Make sure you watch over this area. You know what National Day is like. There's always some drunk tourist who tries to sneak in here. Yes, sir. And I'm not even drunk yet. Right, let's just sneak up to this guy and throw him off the balcony. Let's move it. Finish your cigarette and start your patrol. Sir. So lots of stealth in this mission. Gotta love it to sneak into this casino. So first one you want to take care of is... My man over here. Anything to report? Nothing, sir. But I'm surprised now, we've got enough focus aim, so we could just take care of these dudes while they're having a conversation. But I always prefer to just wait until the conversation ends. I heard it didn't go well. That's not your problem. Your job is to keep your eye on the gardens. Right. Now, just wait until this guy walks over here and... Take care of him like this. There we go. The other guy is completely oblivious. What a helpful chap. So we're about to be introduced to a new game mechanic here. Where you can scan a camera with your smartphone. And then disable it, pressing a couple of buttons, and bada bing bada boom, it's disabled. We're about to do the same thing here with another camera. Obviously you don't want to get into its range, but it's ridiculously easy to not be spotted, just don't walk into the light. So just walk up here, scan it again, click, 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 and there we go. James. James. Pomerov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. You may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. Okay. More guards down there. And we're about to walk into the next piece of intel. Right there. Make sure you scan it before you walk past. And let's proceed. So we're dealing with three dudes here. There's several ways to get past. You could sneak up to them and, you know, do the stealth kills. Sneak up to them behind the walls. But let's just do this. Good evening. So we're making our way into the casino gardens to find some documents of Polmorov. And honestly, Polmorov is another one of these completely forgettable characters I don't remember anything about. That's the thing with this game though, apart from Nicole, you, you don't really remember anyone. Right, I'm gonna finish my smoke, then I'm on a break. Don't work too hard. More guards here. You get eyes on the boss's business associate? Yeah, guess being a Russian billionaire has its upside. <laughs> they're talking about Nicole. They always walk right towards you, so you can just easily do this with the press of a button. Let's take care of my man here as well. Now before we proceed there, you want to backtrack and go to this door here. And scan this little briefcase containing the gun. Charlie, what's your location? Charlie is on route to 5S now. Not a guy there. Patrolling the perimeter, nothing to do. 
dealing with another camera here, so you want to get out your smartphone again. There we go. We're almost getting to the actual inside of the casino now. These gardens are huge. I think we're reaching the end of the maze here. Yeah. Couple more. Couple more guys here. One walking, one standing there. So let's just take this guy out first. Shit, that was too soon. The other one saw me. Crap, crap, crap. Just take him out. Oh. Jesus, Bond! Ah, screw it. Let's just do this. Awards us another focus aim anyway. So there we go, that window leads us into the casino. <laughs> Imagine that happening to you. Okay, now here is where things get more tricky if you want to stay silent and stealthy. The game immediately gives you the, the bigger gun but I want to switch back to the P99. And instead of taking him out immediately, the other guards will notice. So what I do is just walk quietly behind him. Quickly take- Oh shit, they always spot spotted me. No, no, it's still quiet. It's still quiet. Let's wait for this guy. Couple more. Next pillar. Here's another guy. Ah, the other one spotted me. Screw it. It's a little bit of luck involved too, I think. Let's take him out. Right. All right, Nicole. I'm in the casino. Keep Palmer off distracted while I find you. Okay, James. But wait, he's coming. Also, am I the only one who thinks the game version of Josh Stone playing Nicole looks kind of better than what she looks like in real life? I don't know, it's, it's kind of strange. Anyway, let's Roger Moore this guy. Bam! So here we are, the casino that was featured in GoldenEye. And there is Nicole right there with Paul Moroff. About to access the elevator. Double seven, you're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the list. Ah! Just moved out of range. Crap. So. We want to scan three points of interest to gain access to the elevator. First one is this dude here. There he is. One right. Down, 007. Now he was within range. There should be two more in the outside rooms. One of them standing just right here. You could easily just catch him. That's another one, Bond. Okay. Third one is a bit more challenging than the other two. Um, I want to wake our way over there. Anyone know when the player arrives? No idea. They just said to watch the room. You know it might be So here you can just shoot the crap out of the entire room, blaze your way through, but. Again, I just love to be sneaky Bond, so we're gonna try and see if we can do this in a bit of a stealthy way again. There's a lot of guards here, like almost half a dozen or something. So, how are we gonna do this? Make our way over here. There we go. We could always use the gun if 
things go south, but let's just try and be quiet. Okay. Quickly, there we go. Yep. We could shoot this guy, but does he approach us? Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay. He just keeps walking around pointlessly in circles. Oh, crap, I missed, and that's why these guys might, may have heard me. No, they're still quiet. They're still oblivious. So far, so good. There's the guy. It's the one we need. And there we go, number three. So now we can access the elevator. We just need to get out of here. Let these guards be. Can we walk away quietly without being spotted? Of course Something's we can't. There. Yeah, they spotted us. Yeah, we may as well just shoot the crap out of them now. F1. There we go. I think the other one was still alive. Yeah, he is. My aim is a bit off today, isn't it, though? <laughs> Had better days shooting. Oh, That's well. It, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access the job is done. Lift. Now to quickly make our way over to the elevator. For the next bit of the game. Insert cheesy elevator music here. Right, just take this guy out, that guy, and you. I like how the game all of a sudden goes to slow mo mode there. So, you want to scan this, your little piece of intel number four. Almost got all of them in this level now. And now we should make our way over to where Nicole and Palmerov are. Right over there talking in this conference room together. And we need to go to his office there, but that place is locked. So instead, go here. We have to find ourselves another route to get there. Through the balcony, outside, more of the lovely view of Monaco here, just want to jump, do a bit of climbing here. Every proposition is deductive at night, but how will your figure stand up to the light of day? Stefan. How much, Nico? You of all people should know, dear Stefan. You can't hit a jackpot without putting down a few chips. Okay. What's this? That is your golden ticket. Again, they did a magnificent job in their digital rendition of Monaco. Really recognizable. So here's Palmerov's office. Want to quickly make our way over to his safe, which is very easy to spot and just hack that one. What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? to turn them into weapons instead of cures? No! No? So why are these documents in code? I told you, I was working at home. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you.
And this is where the stealth level ends and where we gotta start shooting, so... We better start doing that. There we go. We better put our license to kill to use, switch guns. Cause shit is about to get serious now. There we go. Do this quickly. Take this dude out as well. Shoot the crap out of everyone else. Okay. <laughs> Look at this dude! That has to be the most overacted death pose I've ever seen. Nicole, where are you? I'm outside. What happened? They've closed the casino. Get to the car. Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? Let's see if I can tip the odds in our favor. Right, we're getting close to the end of the line of this mission now. But still not quite there yet. Nothing in this hallway, but this is where the business starts. Let's just take cover here. And take our time taking these dudes out. One by one. There we go. More standing at the bar there. And moving closer though. There we go. <sighs> that crap, crap. Jesus. Okay. There we go. We may as well just use the focus aims. There we go. One more. Okay. Now to make our way out of the casino. And finish this level off. Right, we've got... Two more rooms full of guards left. Take this guy out. There we go. That was a definite Daniel Craig kill. <laughs> that one as well. Brutal. Alright. Keep on shooting these guys. So we're now in the room where a moment ago we were scanning that guard to get into the elevator. Now we're shooting the crap out of him. There we go. He's gotta remain within cover. Should be fine. They just keep on coming though. I think the nope, not yet. One more. Okay. Couple more. Blind fire. Not as accurate as just aiming, though. That guy over there. I think that took care of them. Now for the final room. James, I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move. And this room always totally reminds me of the climax of Scarface. Like the big statue, me standing on the top of the double stairs. All the guys walking towards you. Die, Maricon! How'd you like that, huh? Say hello to my little friend! That statue you want to scan for your piece of intel number 5, the last one. And then just finish this room off so we can end this mission. 
tell. Keep patient. There we go. You can just take him out like this. Get him on the focus aim. I think that's them, pretty much. Yep. So we want to oh, not get. Yep. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this LP so far. I hope you look forward to the next part and uh, catch you then. Stay tuned, guys. See if this is dry enough for you. What are you drinking? Same thing. Straight. I was never one for girly drinks. Bond, are you there? Yes, Em. Right here. Nicole, do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomarov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct chemical refinery he's recently brought back online in Siberia. Makes perfect sense. They tortured Tedworth, the researcher, for the code to his bio-research formulas. He was working on anthrax and smallpox antidotes for troops in the field but they could just as easily be weaponized. That's what we're afraid of. No, that's what the whole world is afraid of. You've got to get there. Confirm what we think he's up to and stop him. Perhaps Miss Hunter can help you facilitate this. Yes, I'll talk to her. Good. Good luck, 007. You finished? I have to take a look at Pomerov's refinery in Siberia. M thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm gonna need a flight ground transportation and local contact. Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomerov I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? M said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolf, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane. 